Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. I remember Ender's Game from the time that I, th I think I read this when I was in high school, but I didn't really recall what it was all about and it's actually a really excellent book and it takes place in the future and they exist uh, in their own little colony and they have an international federation and there are these creature called, creatures called buggers and the buggers in and of themselves are uh, killers. All they know how to do is destroy whatever they come across them. These uh, soldiers in the community are the colony they have been trained to defeat the buggers through games, basically simulations. And it's actually really quite interesting. And Ender, actually, his real name's Andrew. His his nickname's Ender, and it's revealed as to why in the book, which is also very intriguing and fascinating. And it's a good study in psychology as well as uh, politics. And it talks quite a bit about politics <clears throat> and religion. And uh, <clears throat> of course, in, in this society, uh, religion is something that's suppressed. And um, it's just a very uh, excellent book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And uh, I'm interested in seeing how the movie portrays Andrew, I should say, <laughs> and uh, Valentine and his uh, Ender's brother, Peter. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of references to um, Greek mythology or characters from Greek mythology like, like Achilles and Diotrephes and we learn who Diotrephes is <laughs> which is very uh, revealing I think and telling and I like the way that Orson Scott Card writes as well because he's very vivid and he uses a uh, very blunt language and uh, your mind's eyes really uh, <coughs> enlightened and awakened I think and as far as books are concerned it's uh, one of the best I've ever read and I'm reading a, a parallel novel right now it's called Ender Shadow it's actually known as a parallax and in it we have a story of Poke and Bean, and Bean is actually introduced in Ender's Game. And you really don't have to have read Ender's Game, though it helps. Yeah? Uh, I don't want to go out there. I don't want to go out in that gelid. Okay. I will. Just uh, give me a minute, okay? Anyway, um, if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that you do, and hopefully I'll get to see the movie pretty soon so I can do a comparison and contrast. Uh, until then, I'm staying inside where it's nice and warm and I don't freeze everything off my body. <laughs> until next time. Love long and prosper, and ciao, duty.